Welcome to our home for the next few days. Oh, I'm real. Look how pretty. Hi, Ring. Let me show you the winter wonderland we are living in right now. <laughs> hey. So, night one, slept really well, snowed a little. We have no service at all, so we use our inReach. And we message our family that's close to us, just let them know that we're safe. And then this morning, we decided to hike up the mountain to try to get some service. So. Uh, yesterday I'd driven this. There's actually a couple more inches down now. It was a dicey drive, so I didn't record much of it. Um, but I do know there is service up here. Aiden's got something. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> What'd you find? <laughs> he loves the snow. <laughs> What'd you find? What'd you find, you lunatic? So yeah, we're just trying to get that service again. See if we can just check in and check the weather and stuff. All right, so this morning I experienced probably the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me. We got iced in, so the snow melted. The rain came down, it created just the sleekest, like I can't even walk on it, it's so bad you guys, it's really scary. And I literally thought the van was gonna slide out of our parking spot. So I moved down, luckily we're very close to the trail that gets plowed every day. So I moved down and we are now in a like gutter line, like I drove myself into the gutter line so that we wouldn't slide down the mountain. Um, being a Florida girl, this is very new for me and terrifying. So I really hope, fingers crossed, that the snowplow works on Christmas Eve. These guys just saved me. I was stuck on the top of the mountain in an ice pit and we Merry made it Christmas. down. <laughs> Merry yeah. Christmas. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's rewind real quick and tell you what really happened. Let me tell you about... This was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my life, what happened to us this morning. So it is the day before Christmas Eve. So the, day, the night before Christmas Eve, we looked at the forecast. It said it was going to be a little bit rainy. It said that it would also snow. In my gut, I felt like I should have left, but we were in such an awesome place. Like I was just like, it'll be okay. We'll figure it out in the morning. Let's just get a good night of sleep. So in... Keep in mind, we had booked an Airbnb on Christmas Eve just to have somewhere nice to stay. So I could shower, so I could have heat, so I could have running water that was endless um, and not have to worry about moving the van. So uh, here we are, 3 a.m. Christmas Eve morning. And I felt like it was raining a significant amount. And keep in mind, it's December 24th, like in Colorado. It should be snow everywhere, you know. The roads, like if they are covered, should be in snow. So I wake up at 3 a.m., get out of my car, start walking on the ground. It is a complete slick ice bath. Like I can't even walk without tripping, sliding. It was bad. So at that point, I was very, very nervous that the van would literally just start sliding down the mountain. There was nothing to hold traction on it. So I decided to move the van and get it down to the small area where they use, where they would plow. They were plowing up to a certain point, but we were driven past that. So I got in the van. I decided to leave Aiden unbuckled. I started moving very, very, very slowly and I slowly got over to kind of the gutter line. So I got away from the edge of the mountain where we were and got over to the gutter line. And I gently just 
kind of wrote it down, made sure I had control, made sure that I could use my brakes, made sure I was in my first gear. Well, we get to the bottom area where they plow up to and it is barely got an incline, thank goodness, but the van just loses all control. I have nothing I can do. I can't move my steering wheel. I can't push gas. I'm literally at a dead stop and the van is still sliding. I'm freaking out at this point. I didn't know what to do. There's nobody around. There's no service at this spot. We do have an in-reach, but there's no service at all. So it's not like I can just call somebody real quick and get them to me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, please just let us make it over to that gutter line again. Like, let's just like get into a point that I the van can stop sliding. So I literally drive it off into the gutter to make sure that we can't move and we can't just slide down. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. Not having any control, not being able to accelerate, not being able to back up, literally at a dead stop, but the vehicle still moving. I don't know how I didn't panic, honestly. So it's, again, it's like 4 a.m. at this point. I look over and there's a truck. So there's a truck that's parked at the bottom. I haven't seen any people. The truck, I'm almost nervous, is going to slide into us because it's parked. But again, the rain, the heat, everything is just creating this thick sheet of ice. So I'm like paranoid. I can't go back to sleep. I'm like wondering, is the plow going to come because it's Christmas Eve? Am I going to be stuck here? Like, Meanwhile, I knew I had this Airbnb. I just wanted to get somewhere warm and safe. Um, so I'm thinking in my head, I'm rationing my food. Do we have enough food? Do we have enough water? How far do I have to hike to get service? It was about two mile hike to get service. So I wait until about eight o'clock. It starts snowing again. So it had been raining this entire time, the whole night, and then it starts snowing again. So that's how weird the weather is here. It'll snow one second and then the temperature changes and it turns into rain. So these three awesome guys, which you'll see a clip of in a second, they they drive down and they're what is it called like a bobcat or something like that they drive down i guess i had a place up on the mountain they just cruise right down the bobcat not a problem they don't even realize that there's slick ice because that thing was just like so awesome so i told them there's like two inches of thick sheet ice and there's barely a half an inch of snow laying on top so you couldn't even tell there was ice which was really dangerous so they get in this giant pickup truck that has a trailer and he starts moving and he starts sliding. So now we're like, okay, I told you, like, this is some bad stuff. So they say, listen, we're gonna help you get to the bottom. And I'm like, okay, like, that's better than me sitting by myself. Like, I was very nervous about moving the van again. I didn't wanna crash it. I didn't want to go into a ditch. I didn't wanna spend money on repairs, you know, like every, I just had so many thoughts going through my head. So, I, but I decide, okay, if I go down now, at least I have somebody with me. If something happens, like otherwise, if I try to go down even in two days, who knows where the condition are going to be like. So literally, this guy, his name is Don. He walked with me as I was driving, literally at snail speed, to get to safety. Like they were so awesome. There's three of them. Thank you guys so much. You made my Christmas. That's literally all I wanted was just to get to a safe place with me and Aiden. Um, so I just thought that was a really cool story. I thought it was awesome to meet some people that were just willing to help. And they're like, we're not leaving until you get down the mountain. And of course they were like, wait, you're by yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I'm by myself from Florida, slipping down the ice path. Um, but we made it safely. We're at the Airbnb and I am doing this cute puzzle, which I shopped for a puzzle in Target for literally three different trips where I was like, nah, I just don't love any of them. So today I was about to give up and walk away and I found this one. So there's a picture of a girl hiking on top of a mountain. There's a picture of a girl with a dog at a campfire, another mountain hike, another campfire with a tent, a van. I mean, come on. And then sitting on, looks like a boat on the water. Like, is this not me to a T? So anyway, just wanted to fill you guys in. Love you. Merry Christmas.